good late Saturday night, my Castlemanian Orthodox friends. This is your old friend, the arch fiend himself, the nefarious and evil Prince of Darkness, Uncle Chucky. And every once in a while I am moved by the spirits, shall we say, to make a video about something that I hadn't planned on doing. Well, I am what made the mistake <laughs> of watching the most absolutely, utterly ridiculous video on YouTube. A Christian video. <laughs> it, they tend to be like that. About Nazis and the occult. And of course they get every they get a few things right and they get everything wrong. Everything else wrong. Uh, but some of the silliness is interesting and it's entertaining. As long as you don't make the mistake of taking a word they say seriously. But they brought up actually kind of one of my favorite subjects. The Spear of Destiny. Now for those of you who don't know, you lucky people, ah, you're going to know now. The Spear of Destiny is the legendary spear that was used to skewer Jesus when he got killed after chasing the honest businessmen out of the temple. Yes, we know we had it coming. This is what happens to people who attack, who attack capitalism. Let that be a lesson to them. But in any event, he gets skewered, and there's all this story about the, you know, the, the, you know, the Catholic Church and its relics. I mean, my God, enough pieces of the cross to, to build 400 cathedrals, uh, the bones of St. Moronicus, <laughs> the healing power of, uh, of the left knot, of, of the left little finger uh, of St. Peter. You know, the, the, the silliness. Well, among the silliness is the spear of Longinus. We don't even know if there was a Longinus. You know, hell, we don't even know the damn crucifixion happened. But, you know, I mean, but, you know, these stories build. Well, the thing about relics, particularly this one, is it ends up with a story attached to it. We don't know how much of the story is true. It was made up by Trevor Ravenscroft when he wrote The Spirit of Destiny. And he made up a lot of stuff in that book. <laughs> it's great entertaining. Great read. By all means, read it for the fun of it. But don't believe a word in it. <laughs> Do not believe it. Um, but, except for a few things. First of all, there is a relic in the Austrian, uh, the old imperial treasury of the, ha the Habsburgs, the Reichsplanodian, it was called, which basically is the little stuff of the Reich. Uh, <laughs> very loose translation. <laughs> um, but it's got the crown of Charlemagne, which I've talked about a number of times have a very nice video about that. If you have not seen it, you must. Um, and the Spear of Destiny. A spear. Actually, it dates from around the 700s. It's kind of cobbled together in two parts that are separate. It's old. <laughs> but it's not that old. But here comes the fun part. A belief structure has been built up, particularly since the publication of the Ravenscroft book, which, God, I wish I could write something that would sell that book, and forever. Um, even if it is nonsense, who cares? It sells, right? There's money in, in stupidity. But the, the idea that whoever has this spear will rule the world. 
Yeah. When's the last time you saw an Austrian rule the world? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's be honest about it. You know, the stories that build up here. Like Charlemagne carried this in battle. No, Charlemagne did not carry it into battle. Charlemagne had a big whacking sword. Probably didn't pick up a spear after he was 15. Just to go boar hunting. They, all of these stories. You know, they're, they're stories. They're nonsense. But there's a spot form that builds with them. Big spot form. And so if you tap into the spot form, ignore, ignore the historic reality. The historic reality just gets in the way. Ignore that. This is not reality here. This is something, this is a different reality. And it's a thought form. This is built up around this thing, this, this relic, this old hunk of metal. That if you have it, you will have good fortune. Let's be honest, we're not going to be leading armies into battle. I mean, people don't do that sort of thing anymore. Our own generals don't lead anymore. They sit and basically make plans and let the machines do the leading. We don't have leaders. We have organizers. But anyway, so much for that little editorial comment. But the idea is that only one person could have this, and that person would be the great conqueror. No, 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 no. Like all such things, anyone can have it. I have it. So can you. What do we do? We need a witness sample of it. What do I got here in my hand? No, it's not a list of communists from the 1950s. I hold a picture of the Spear of Destiny. Isn't it wonderful things you can find online? And I need mean, to take to get this thing where we can see it. My handy dandy Dr. Mulder radionic device. Don't buy this. I don't make any money from it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is the, I, I do like this machine. And as my other machines are all taken, like the chakra device, this is, this is perfect for this. Actually, for this kind of work, this machine is perfect. I'll give him a free plug. He deserves it. He makes good stuff. We take this. The Spear of Destiny. Eat your heart out, Uncle Ladoff. We put it on the input plate. We take something that you're going to use, that, that you will have on you at certain points. You're not going to wear it all the time, usually, but something you have. In this case, I have my what we jokingly used to call the Chicago Slosh, my badge of office. This was given to me by my wife before we were married. And essentially, it's a dagger. It's, well, it's actually a sword, but we call it a dagger. You wear it around, and I wear it around my neck and when we go out. My badge of office. Okay. What we're going to do, what I have done with this, I'm just going to actually repeat an operation I, oh, wait a minute, i got to get in front of the camera here. An operation I did use, actually right after I got the thing. It's, it's had a lot of juice put into it. It was one of my other radioactive devices because I didn't have this one back then. But this one would work perfectly. This goes on the output. Let me set the rate. And that is all. And now I can get this camera back to me. So I don't have to keep bending over. And we let it run. And that is all that you need to do.
as long. So, anyone, anyone in the world can possess the spear of destiny. So, can you? This is Uncle Chucky. Conquer the world. Have an evil day.